Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server for Bucket 1.7.10. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is go to Google. Or you don't have to go to Google, just open up your web browser. You check dl.bucket.org slash download slash craft bucket. And just click on whichever one's right for you. If the recommended build for 1.7.10 is out, go ahead and get that one. Uh, if you feel like getting a beta build, go ahead and grab it. Um, but beta builds are very unstable, so I would get a development build. Unless, you know, you want to get the recommended build. And just download that. I have one in here, so I'll just go ahead and copy it. And we're just going to create a folder on our desktop. YouTube Minecraft server. There we go. And you want to right click um, new and then text file. Uh, but since I have Windows batch file, I'm going to go ahead and click that one. And you just want to type um, whatever is your name. So like start server or run or whatever. So just rename it to whatever dot bat. This is a Windows batch file, and I'll probably get into those later. I'm going to right click, and if you have Notepad++, which I really recommend you do if you're running a server, go ahead and edit it with Notepad++, but if you don't, just download, or no, not download, just right click and hit edit. And what you want to do is um, type at echo off. This basically prevents you from seeing the command that we're about to put in. This code will be in the description, so just copy it and paste it in. This right here is how many megabytes you're dedicating to the server. So I have 1024, which is um, 1 gigabyte total, 2048 would be 2, and so on. Just add 1024 to every. Um, just like add 1024 to your number. And that should go up by 1 gigabyte. So, yeah, and then you want to rename this. Uh, if this isn't already craftbucket.jar, go ahead and set it to craftbucket.jar. And go ahead and copy your craft bucket into here. Now it should not say craft bucket by default. So just rename it to craft bucket. There you go. And or just rename it to what you put here. So you could have monkeys.jar is that but then put monk I don't know how to spell it. Um but you could put monkeys in here and it would still work. Monkeys.jar. It would still work. Now, if you type stop in your server and you want it to automatically close, just ignore what I'm about to tell you. But if you want it to stay open after it has stopped the server, you come down here and you want to type pause. If you don't, you just want it to automatically close. Just leave. Just leave it blank down there. Now, exit that and you're pretty much good. Just run your server. Just say loading libraries. Please wait. And it should generate everything. Now this is going to generate the world. It's going to generate the nether. I think. Or. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, there you go. You can just type stop. And since we did not put pause, it just automatically closed. Now you should have all of these good things. Now you can edit the ops, um, the band players, the band IPs. Uh, you can add your plugins. I'll do a tutorial on how to install plugins. And then you have all these. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later.
oh, wait, one more thing. Um, to get onto your server. Once you have it running, you can just load up my Minecraft. Sorry about the problem. player and then you can use local host this here log in and there you go so yeah that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching